uh, rebuild called a uh, team called Rangers. Uh, if you guys have, we're gonna be, we're gonna be, we're gonna be uh, re rebuilding them. So, like I know Stephen, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the thing to see if, if I was Stephen Gerrard, and these players I would sign would be the signings I would make to make Rangers great again. So this is what I'm gonna do. And then I'm actually Northern Irish, but. It's because it's because I'm a Protestant and uh, Rangers are a Protestant or a Protestant team that supports the British and not and uh, they and they love they love Britain. So and um, they love everyone, so that's why everyone loves them and we love them we love them and everyone lo they love us, so Okay, uh, I know Steven Gerrard is buying so many players like Connor Goldson, uh Lasana Kulili Abbey, uh, Ryan Kent, Alan McGregor, Borna Barisic, Gareth McCauley, all these players that we would never think that would that would never join Rangers because these players are actually big name players. Like Lasana Kulili Abbey used to play for fucking Paris Saint Germain for fib sake. And uh, he's just. He's just he just signed for he just signed said I love uh, I'm act, I'm just whatever I, I I just want to sign for a club that's that's out of France so he said yeah I know still love Steven Gerrard and I really and I really do you know those Rangers that well because Rangers are the biggest club in Scotland yeah fuck it I'll sign him but these the, the, these are the players I would sign if I was the Rangers manager the striker I would go. Morales, you're, I know everyone, everyone might be hating me on this, but I know Morales is a good player for us right now. But but against Celtic in real life, he doesn't really show it. Against other teams, against other teams like in the Europa League for Christ's sake, he was absolutely scoring goals left, right, center. Against the crabby teams, like, like well, like, not Aberdeen, because Aberdeen is actually a really big team. But, uh,. Just teams like you know are just more more or less successful than Rangers are on less less successful than Rangers and Celtic, but if it's against if it's against them teams like St Johnston, Kilmarnock, uh, Hibernian, all them teams, he knows how to score goals. But if it's against Celtic, he just he just goes oh fuck we're playing against Celtic. Well, how do I score this goal? But but today I'm going to be. Uh, I'm gonna be, you know, custom. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be making my own Rangers team if I was the manager of Rangers. This is what the Rangers team looks like at the moment: Morelos, Windas, Holt, Dorans, Murphy, Declan John, Russell Martin, Bruno Alves, Fodderham, James Tavernier, Candias, Miller, Cummings, Goss, Andy Halliday, Jack Anwick, David Bates, Ross McCrory, Greg du Greg Duckery, er Eduardo Herrera, Ryan Jack, Fabio Cardoso. Joe, uh, Joe, uh, Joe Dudu, Jordan Rossiter, Lee Wall, no Lee Hudson, Lee Wallace, uh, Michael Halloran, and uh, I forgot his name. It's, it's something Middleton. I forgot his name, but give me the props to actually know all these players. Ross McCoy not having either, but Morales, you are a good player. I'm going to put you up front. I'm going to play the four four two holding. I'm not going. I'm going to have. I'm gonna take Morales on the bench. Miller, you're coming on the bench as well for Ross McCoy. I know you're. I know you're. Uh, like a, like a. You know, I'm not. I'm not actually gonna have him a striker. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy the striker. I've always bought the striker every time I do Rangers rebuilds because he just. He's just so good. Um, if I can get him in. Search players. The players I'm gonna be searching is this guy called Shalov. You guys haven't actually heard of him. He's a he's a 19 year old striker, and his he is so good right now. I don't I I know he's 19, but the stats he I don't give a crap if he's got 66 pace or something like that. I don't care about the pace up front. The only thing I care about is if the striker if he's got pace or no crappy pace, but he can score goals and if he's got dribbling. What I do in a player in FIFA. I I use the player if he's crap if he's got crappy pace and crappy stats, but if he's a silver and he's got okay stats for a silver and I buy him and I develop him to see what he's like and I think he's an absolutely brilliant player. 
that's when I start to realize that not this guy I'm using is actually a really decent player. And Shalov is one of the people I, that I thought that was one of the best silvers I ever used in FIFA history. Because, well, I have, but I know there's, I know, I know there's other, I know there's other silver players that are absolutely fucking unbelievable. But you know that that's his, that's his stats, and he's 19. I don't care if he's got like crappy, crappy like you know like fake free kick accuracy and long passing and stuff like that. But but what you guys got to remember, he's only 19. So but. He's going to get. I'm going. I'm going to see if I can sign him on a four-year deal or five-year deal. I know he's. I know he's like you know 19, but I don't know. I'll try and. I'll try and. I'll try and cook up something. But he is going to be. He's going to be our first signing of the day if we can sign him. And then I'm going to. I'm going to put him up front with Morelos. I'm going to put him with him. So, okay, 1.7 million. What I'm going to do is this year. 3.3.09 million. See if we see if we can accept on that. I think that's a fair offer for Shallow. Shallow, if uh, we're happy with the terms, so we'll get the so we'll okay. So I've signed them three for three point zero five million or three point zero nine million. I think it was. I think I got him for. Okay, what's this guy like? He's only twenty one and he's got okay decent stats and, he, and he's Brazilian as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what he's like. I, I can I'm gonna wait on him. I'm gonna wait on him and see what he's like. Sati Gumar, yeah, yeah, that's another player. That's another player Rangers has signed in real life. There's Richard Jensen. I've heard of this guy. Some people on FIFA around the world has been selling me this guy's an absolute fucking G. So I might scout him and see what he is like. Uh, Keneath Paul, he's only he's only twenty. I'm going to bet on him as well. So there are the players I am going to bet. Though I'm not betting on Odson or Edward. I know he's playing for Celtic, and I know Celtic, and um, he is, a, and, he, and he's a brilliant striker against us. But I'm not buying him. I don't give a shit. <laughs> but I'm still not signing him after after every goal he can see, every goal he scores against us. I'm not having it. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to scout all these players. I'm going to scout on the 13th of July, which is which is one day before the 12th of July. And we all and we all know what happens in the 12th of July and all around, don't we, fellas? Uh, I know. King Billy is on the wall. King Billy is on the wall. Alright, so did we win on the 12th for the lads? Yes, we did. And we drew against uh, Fala, Fala Dolid. Yeah, Fala Dolid. Yeah. Isn't it called Real, uh, Real Fala Dolid? I think it is. But I might be wrong. But if I'm wrong, don't kill me. Because I don't want to die. I, I want to... I want to flip him. Oh shit! Yeah, I haven't. I I I haven't get. I haven't given. I haven't given. I haven't given. I haven't given given, given his contract to him yet. Try shallow. It's just because. It's just because I'm trying to sign these players for our team to make our team more stronger. He's only 19. I'm going to say prospect. Oh, he wants important. All right. You're only 19, and you might you might get higher and higher. With your man, he's only 19. I'm going to say four years. He wants two years. No, I'm not having that. Counter three years. I'm not having you for two, because uh, that would only mean that only mean that only mean he'll only be with us until until he turns up in 21. I'm not having it. Welcome to the broadcast, mate. Uh, if you're new around here, uh, comment and like. But we're going to be getting uh, 15,000 wage for a 19-year-old. That is absolute. That is absolutely bizarre for a 19-year-old. Okay, we've signed him, and then we're trying to sign this guy here. And his and his thing, he's only one million. So I'm going to wait on this dude and see what his uh, thing is. But okay, but we made one signing, our first signing, which is shut up this guy. I know you guys might think, oh shit, this guy's actually crap. No, when when you see when I when I saw this guy the first time when I bought this guy in the first time ever. I was saying to myself, holy crap, this guy's an absolute G. Okay, but I'm not actually going to have Graham Dorans in the midfield, because Graham Dorans, you are a good player, but I'm just going to buy, I'm just going to buy, man, I'm just going to buy a better team to catch up the Celtic and beat them. But, I don't know anymore, I'll see what I can do with this, I'll see what I can do, but... Stop simulation! Stop simulation! Because I need to, I need to scout these fucking players. 
Rangers against Granada. Final Sky. I'm going to Final Sky Richard Conson. He's 61 rated. He's okay, I guess. Welcome to the broadcast, guys. Uh, if you're new around here, uh, leave a comment down below and uh, see what other players you want me to sign. This is a player I actually really want to sign right now. He's 20. He's got... Uh, oh, nice, thanks for the comment, mate. Thanks for the comment. Uh... Board live stream. All right, all right. Uh, okay, I'll. Uh, okay, I put my. Okay, I put the board on. All right. Advanced settings. What is that? Is that to include video from PlayStation camera? What's up with this, dudes? <laughs> You see me guys what about you uh but this is another player we're trying to sign and he's actually quite cheap to be honest but final report and in that show he's 68 rated that's actually really promising so this that this dude is actually okay as well so all right uh transfer hub uh all right he's his value is between 1.7 I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uh, persuasive, and I'm going to say one point nine point six, one point six million. Is that all right? No fucking, no more fucking one point nine five million. I think that's a fair offer. Yes, yeah, so we might be able to sign this dude. And then, uh, but I'll I'll have this dude and this dude in the left back. If this guy, he can play centre mid as well. Hmm, I might put him in centre mid then. That's actually that's actually that's actually um a key a key a key position for him actually because with his stats he has. Hmm, not bad. I'm going to say nine hundred and fifty. He wants 950, but plus a 10 receipt. Alright, I can probably accept that. I could accept that, to be honest. I could accept that. So, these two players actually might come in handy. This guy can play just left back, and this guy can play left back plus centre mid. So. Charger, I hear you. Stop pissing me off. Are you okay? He wants a rotation player. Alright, he wants three years. He'd be 24, so that's actually okay, I guess. Disregard. Okay, he's thing. I'm going to say six thousand plus ten. Ten signing bonus. I think that's a fair offer. So we've signed. We've signed him. Okay, I'm going to put him in. Lee Wallace, you are a no, Declan John. You are a brilliant player for us. But I'm having. I'm having it not you. Look at him. Like he's he's a player and he's playing for Rangers. We're si we're gonna be signing so many good players, like, but I don't know if it's gonna I don't know if it's actually gonna do any business for us. So we better we bet I have to sign many more players to get these guys to catching up to them. But I'll do something. Okay, he wants a he wants a rotation player. All right, uh, he wants four years, so we twenty four as well. So I can deal with that. He, he doesn't want to release clause at this point. I can't deal with that. He wants fifty nine he wants hundred and fifteen thousand pound in signing bonuses and he wants fifty nine thousand pound in the clean sheets. I can deal with that because I've got because I've got a lot of money and plus I'm uneven plus if we even if we win, you know, the group stages we're in not in not in the Champions League or anything like that, in the European International Club. Uh Where the hell are you? Graham Dorans, you are a good player, but I'm not having you. <laughs> hey. But that's kind of those are our signings, guys. So, is it? <laughs> Just doing a video, Zana. Don't don't interrupt me. But our first game is against Granada. So let's get into it. 
Should I love Paul and then Achu. So three signings we have made. If I was Steven Gerrard, those those are those are really key. Those are big name key players. So let's do it. I'm not doing this. Hang on a minute. The <laughs> second. I'm supposed to do now. more better so let's do this well, it may be a pre-season tournament the semi-finals are always exciting this is the european i might be i might be you know quite dodgy at this game to be honest because i haven't played it in two months get fit away from the glare of publicity but these boys have put on a good show so far let's check on granada and their 11 players well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, One shot of... The players in that five, that midfield spot. This with a chance to go into the lead now. Can he do it? Yes! Shot of to Windows, and Windows puts it in the back of the net. That was a brilliant team goal from Shalov. Shalov, I like, I didn't mean to really actually do that, but when Das comes in the back of the net. Yo! Could be a chance here. They've got the ball. Oh, you yeah, cheeky bastard. Come back, hit it up in the in the shield. They spread it out wide here. Now well done, well done, Russell. Well, well done, down. Russell Martin. Well passed. Come on, thing. Come on, can they ask? Big possession with that header. Header, header. Into the attacking third. That's a brilliant challenge. Come on, Murphy. Chalov. This is good for Bollards. Sean Goss. One in front. Oh. They would be a lot more comfortable if they were two in front. And they really could have been. Yeah, might they look back on that with a bit of regret because that was a great chance to extend the lead, wasn't it? Come on, get at him. A sailor. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Kick it up, kick it up, water and up. He's stuck into him, stay on him. Well done, Sean Goss. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. I like the look of this attack. That's an easy cut out for the opposition, saw the pass coming. What's wrong with that? And they've got a chance to really make the most of that decision.
for the corner. More considered thoughts, Alan, on the goal that's given this team the lead. I know my, I know I'm, I know I'm, I know I'm not actually, quite, I'm not, I know I'm not good at this game at the moment. Now it's because I haven't played it, and I haven't played this game in like, I haven't played pressures in like two months. And this attack coming from Rangers. Oh, chance. No freaking keeper, no keeper was ever going to catch up, to be honest. Fre freaking Shallow is our number 13 here. <laughs> to see advantage being played that was a good pass onto the attack now and they get it away oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh fuck fucking fucking well, that could be an important moment. That would have got them right back in the match. Well, they hadn't had too many chances. I know, it's, I know, guys. You might think I'm actually crap at this game. It's because I'm not, I'm not really good at this game. Well, I am good, but it's because it's because I haven't played this game in about like two months. He's got his shot off now. Oh, charge down. Catch it. Well done, Fodderham. I'm, I'm actually going to keep you, Fodderham. I'm like. Come on, Murphy. Run it, shit. They could pose some danger now. Must score. Very close. Oh. Ball, and very close to the target. Perhaps could have done better. Yeah, an unusual choice, I think, just to try and get power behind it. Bump so close in. When that's good autumn. Well, header. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Shots on. Oh! <laughs> Murphy. Should be. I freaking lap box about the score goal. They shell off strikes again. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. We can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. Not Megan then, but Kim. Really so Wenda scores once, and when on shell off scores twice. Is headerless up, Bruno. Steered through. He's in. Yeah! That was good football, lads. Come on, get out of them. What I call a chip. 
Like, like, we're, we're like when that was gonna call, when that was gonna get to that, but well, it wasn't actually because the fib, it was, just, it was, it was only me, it was only me and the striker and the goalkeeper there. He's stuck in them. Spotted that well and intercepted. So I call a brilliant ball, you sexy bitch. Oh! God damn it, Windows! Come on, Paul, headerless. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. That's great work by the goalkeeper. You got lucky there, man, because if because if Fibbin Shalov was flipping anywhere near that net, he he, he could have flipping easily got that in the back line out there. Come on, get stuck in them. Passes back, Bruno Alves. Pass it back. Come on, Shallow, get to that. It is. Could be dangerous. Taking on the defenders. Well done. Well done, Bruno. Pass it. Come on, Paul. Corner. Header this. Es Esponia is not even anywhere near Windows' standards, like... Just blow the whistle, ref. Looking for a through ball. Now this looks promising. Head it away. Possession in the midfield area. There it. It's looking good this move. Able to cut that out with uh, some sharp movement. They're back. Then and a shrewd one. Just blow the whistle, Rev. It already has been three minutes, man. Just blow the whistle. Well, that's where the free part of the pitch is in the wide and shoots. Well, well caught, Fodderham. Half time. Austin Villa's winning 2 0 against uh, Martilimo. I don't care because we're winning 4 0 against Granada. Anyone anyone I need to sub off? Murphy, you being absolutely unbelievable. Martin, you being good. Tavernier, Candias, Paul, Sean Gosh, you being good. I don't know anymore. I think I'm just going to. I think I'm just going to stick with the same team. So let's just stick with that. really was a very one sided first half and they. Team on the wrong end of that scoreline has got to show a bit of backbone now. Stay back, everyone stay back, stay on them. Good vision to be able to switch the play there. Well done, Murphy. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Stay on it. 
looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. And he could get away here. He's caught offside. You can see what he's trying to do. It's all about the timing of the run. He goes a bit early, gets a bit too eager. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Now well done. Well intercepted, Murphy. Come on, here comes Windass running down the wing. Oh, I could have scored that. In goes the corner. Oh my god, what the heck happened there? Oh my god. I thought I scored there, I'm not even joking. That will be the goalkeeper's ball. They tried to get a run. That's well taken by the goalkeeper off his line. Make a run, you dumbass. Not often, Alan, do you see one man have one half like he's had. On top of his game out there, and I'm sure he'll be thinking about grabbing his hat. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. Stay on him. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. He's going in. Told you. Well, I'm not sure if he intended that. It's kept just under the bar and it was an unstoppable shot. Told you it was going in. This is brilliant for Paul Lodge. With great aplomb, I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. When the Candias was never going to miss from that, like he was never. I have to say it's so one-sided today, but because that was an absolute, pa that was an absolute brilliant pass from the flipping windows whenever he did that skin pass ten players and he just passes it and then. Where's Fodden? I'm on the move. He's not going anywhere. I'm flipping. I'm gonna put. I'm go, I'm gonna block all offers. I don't care. I don't, I don't care if I'm gonna get any offers from like Leeds or something. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not selling him. Ah, oh, was it? Sorry, guys. That was a poor pass for me. Like it wasn't him. It was actually needed that pass there. Well done, well done Murphy, come on pass it up, here comes Shalov, bit it up, bit it in, oh, over the net, Paul, I did think that this would be one of the tightest games we've seen, Alan, but it's extraordinary. It's gone the other way. Yeah, it has. It has. I think everybody at the stadium was quite surprised by that because the one side has been knocking the ball about nice and crisply. The other one's been threading it through. Not very easy. <sighs> that was a good catch. Who is our keeper? I want to know. Varos. Varos. If he if he got to that and bind that in, that would have been that, that would have been that would have been the goal of the century right now for Glasgow, for Rangers of Glasgow Rangers if that was if that was a goal. I can't keep it on the pitch. It's gone out for a throw. Too far. All right. Stoppage in play means the substitution can take place, and it's going to be a double substitution. Moving forward with some danger to the up. Great chance! Yes! Patrick, goal number three. <laughs> and it's a perfect day for the player. Well done, Kendiaz. That's what we need from you. Well, uh, maybe that's the one he'll treasure the most because it's given him the hat trick. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he wants to go Paul for holiday. No, I'm keeping Paul because Paul's actually being really decent right now for us. I think I think Paul was actually making a really big influence for us right now. So I'm getting I'm getting excited to see what he can what he can what he can bring to the table. Right. We just gotta we just gotta see what he can bring when the season starts. Well, 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 the season's already started in real life, but 
He's using the season torch for a um, FIFA right now in this game. Well, well done, Tavernier. You didn't back out of that one, right? Well passed. Oh shit! I thought that was actually. I thought. I thought. I thought that was onto something there. This referee's got a good perception. Of when, don't when don't do anything. Don't take the ball off him because I think it's. I think it's on advantage. What the fuck was that? He's got eagle eyes. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that job because uh, the uh, I stay on him. players move now. They're not getting past our defense. Well done, Candias. Nice bit of interplay between these two. And this attack coming from Rangers. It goes out wide again. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Switch of emphasis going inside. You were fucking lucky there. I meant to have that defender there. Comes strongly. Agra. Come on, Windows. Come on, Tavernier. No keeper was ever going to save that with that header, like from Windows. So Windows and Candias is probably the man in the match right now for us. Yeah, he did try, but there was no way in hell no no player was ever going to stop that header. Like that header was like a freaking. I might sign their keeper just as I might score his keeper. My eh. I might scout their keeper just to see what he is like and see what his stats are like because if he's because if he's good for Scottish Premiership standards, I might buy him. Because I know there, because I know there, I know there might be some players in these games that are not actually standard for their for their actually no more clubs they have right now, but they might be you know standard for like Scottish Scottish football. Shalov is the person I think that's probably doing the more work to passes to get to our strikers right now. Oh, Mur freaking Jimmy Murphy. Uh, freaking Jimmy Murphy almost did that header. Bop, mod. Well stuck into him in the... Uh, uh, freaking... 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 Shalov, get up! We don't, we don't want, we don't want you to get injured right now. Get up! And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. Goss. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. A real opening for him. Great move, great goal. It's his three of the best. It's a hat trick today. He's really been on form. Charlotte, Windas, and Diaz. Man of the matches right now for you three. Well, that's a wonderful achievement to get three goals in a team like this against opposition like this. It's a special day. It certainly is for a special player too. The player that. Uh, the friend keeper didn't even move sword. there. Today. A very comfortable margin. That's game over. Can't really be any comeback in the time that we've got left. With Just blow the whistle. Well, plenty of goals from the winners and very disappointing show from the losers. The referee calls on <laughs> well, undoubtedly steered through. And this attack coming from Rangers. Our oh, chance. Rangers.
So Chaloff, Wendas, Kandias, Murphy. So nine 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 the no, nine point six, eight point seven. So everyone pretty much everyone out of my team is actually nine 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 nine. So I found so one 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 game one one game like well our last uh, third, third game one so we're in the final against Aston Villa. Hmm. Aston Villa against Rangers. Hmm. I'm not. I'm actually gonna. I'm, I'm actually not gonna play this game. Actually, I mean, I'm actually gonna simulate it, but after I make some more signings. Good job on our youth. Uh, youth pro. Youth pro. Uh. This guy's actually okay, guys, for a 19-year-old. He's a left mid. He's 21 years old. Yeah, he's 22 years old. And he's 22 and he's got 36, 30th pace. I've got faster pace than that. And I'm fucking 17. Yeah, 19 years old. Manu Garcia. Oh, he's the Man City player, but he's on loan. Thierry Ambrose. Mastro Casiria. If this guy if, if this guy can play probably left mid, I'll probably i probably put him in. Cause he looks tasty. He can play right back. I might buy him and then put him as a right back or if Tavernier gets injured. So I'm going to say ooh, two million for you. Would that be enough for you? Two million? I think that's a fair offer. So two million is actually yeah, they think it's the thing it's a the thing it's an okay offer, so two million. I'm actually I'm actually gonna sit down for this one guys because I'm actually I'm actually sitting down so So it's periodic. Four years. Disregard. Thirty six thousand. I can deal with that. 36 grand is not a lot of money for a player like him. So we have made three left back signings, but this dude can play right back as well. So. Any players TSD in the right wingy, in the right wingers? Buenos uh, Tapata. This guy looks actually really good as well. I'm going to scout him, and I'm going to scout him. This dude looks okay as well, but he's got like 60s and something like that on the thing, so I don't know about him. He's 27. He's not really a winger, but he's got 67 pace, so I don't think so. Midfield, left mid. Transfer this dude. Okay, okay, but not gonna not gonna be good enough for Ranger standards, I don't think so. For loan. Sorry this dude, but if I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend he's a bronze. I've used this dude before and he's okay, but I don't know. Left minute, left wing, for loan. Liam Cullen. Hey, I've got a, hey, I've got a friend called Josh Cullen. Ola John. What the hell happened to him? I, I remember Ola John. They used to have like fucking, like, like ninety, like ninety something, like eighty pace or something like that. I don't really think any of these players are actually going to be, you know, like, mad, like, mad rated. There's Fabio Barini, but I don't, I don't actually think Rangers are actually going to buy this dude in real life, like, so. Let me see free agents and see what there is, see what I can buy. He's... Okay, he's only 31. I might, I might actually, actually see what this reading, see what this guy's reading is.
This dude's okay. The hell no. get myself a new keeper if I can find someone that's actually Aron Granada. I'm going to bet on it. I'm gonna I'm gonna scout this dude. This guy's is like 69-ish. I might buy him because he actually looks okay. And I keep on saying I'm gonna keep on saying that to all these players because some of these players actually do look decent. But I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip ten days because that's I need to wait nine. But sometimes if you don't wait, if you wait, if you submit it to nine the night the day that its thingy is expired by, it doesn't show. That's why I'm expiring it to the tenth, ten days. So. Doing this for my club, my fairy club. Did we win or lose? We lost two one. Shit. I know we're recording Nikolai. He's sixty nine rated. Me sixty two. I might get this guy. To be honest, he does look cool. He actually does look decent for a uh, for a free agent. Bruno Tabalata. This guy looks okay, I guess, as well. But he's twenty-five. This guy is. He's okay, I guess, as well. So I'm gonna put him on the transfer mark on the thing. Short list, short list, see what I can see, see what I can, see if I can buy him. I want to have 5 million in the bank. Well, I've got 9 million in the bank, but, uh, He's 20 and he's a left back. I know, I'm not, no, I'm not signing any more left backs. I've been signing, I've been signing so many fucking left backs right now. Steven Berg, Berg, Bergwijn. This guy has to be good. Approached by S Monaco, so he must be good. Where is he? Nine days. I need to wait. I need to see if I can sign this dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The day before Hamilton. I better I better get this dude quick before AS Monaco snaps him up because I actually need this dude. This dude actually looks so sick. I'm plus, I'm plus, I'm plus. How is he gonna fit in AS Monaco? AS Monaco's got fucking so many good players now, and Rangers we and plus he's gonna be Rangers standards, not fucking AS Monaco, because Monaco is like a biggest the biggest club ever in France. But Rangers are the biggest club in Scotland with like more titles than the AS Monaco, so he I think he would I think he would sign for flipping us instead of AS Monaco. Steven Bergwin. Uh bollocks. Plus anyway he was flipping he was eleven million, I don't have that many. Might do I might get this dude as well. I know I'm signing so many young players, dudes, but it's just because it's just because all these dudes right now they've got so many they've got so much good talent right now look at them this guy's a right back and he and he's 22 I could probably I could probably sign him for about like I'd say I'd say about like three million I don't know what I'm gonna do guys but if whatever I can do I'll do something about it it's just because all these dudes I'm trying to sign they've all got like good stats. I'm going, I'm going to sign this dude, the free agent dude, because he looks insane. His bro, he's only 31, so I'm going to say... Sporotic player. It was important. 
you might not you might not be the important player that we need right now, but he's 31. I'm gonna say three years. Would he say three? No, he wants a he wants a one year deal. No, two years. You're 31. Maybe 33. If you want 33, you're a half year. You're going to half. You're going to have to work for us. Thirteen thousand to twenty thousand. Is that a, is that is that a good offer for you? No, he, no, he wants no, he no, he wants three hundred. He wants three hundred eighty thousand if he gets the twenty clean sheets. This guy gonna play right wing or left left wing? That might be okay. So. Three million. I've still got twelve million in the bank. 3.5, 3.05 mil. That's actually quite cheap. That's actually quite cheap. So, if I can sign him, welcome to the club. If I, can, I can't sign you. I'll try and sign you, man. I'll try and sign you because you look okay. You look okay for a 24 year old. Or 25 year old, I may say. Or 20 year old, even. I'm going to say 3 million for you. Does they accept? Yeah, they accept. Yes! This guy is right back. I'm gonna say two million. For this dude, he's only he's only he's only twenty two. He's only twenty two years old. I'm gonna say two million for him if he accepts it. I don't think I've wasted my time. Well, fuck you, man. You're not gonna get that much money off me anyway, so you can stick it up your bubble. Let me tell you, intestinal, uh, intestinal offer. Shit, he's, he's a lot of money. I'm gonna say 4.2 million. I'll say 4.2 million for him. Yes! He accepts that. He, say, he accepts that straight away. Okay. He's only 20 years old. I'm gonna say prospect. He wants rotation. He wants squad rotation player. Okay, he might not get that, but I don't know. He's only 20. I'm gonna say four year deal. No, you're not getting two years old. Get the fuck out. No, three years. Because you're 20 years old. You're not getting. You're not going. To, you're not gonna be getting a two year club of fucking Rangers. I'm giving you three years. 63 grand. Oh, it's quite cheap for him. What is what's his rating? He's sixty six rated and he's sixty six rated. Okay, he wants he wants important first team. He wants important player. He's twenty five. If I say three year deal, he'd be twenty eight. Disregard. Seven thousand to ten thousand. That's a fair offer. Yes. I'm signing so many good players right now. He's Celtic, come out us now. Come out us now. He wants important. I'm gonna say four years. He accepts four years. He doesn't. He doesn't want a thingy. That's okay. I don't want it either. I've still got four million in the bank, but I don't really know if I can make any more signings left. But I've signed so many flipping players, guys. Like no man's business. Four, three, two, one. Can, can, can you play CDM? You can only play center attacking mid. 
I put you on the bench for halt. You can play right back, I apparently heard, so I'm gonna put you on for David Bates. Deegan, you're a brilliant defender, and I haven't even seen you play, but I hope you're good. Some are you're good, but I'm not having you in the thing right now. Bruno, but I'm not having you in the team either, so my, my defense is actually quite solid. But I've got Bruno Alves on the bench just in case someone happens because I need I actually need this I actually need to see what these dudes, what these guys are gonna be like whenever I start them in. So okay, Hamilton. Transfer offer for Lee Wallace, AD uh, Al uh, Alcor uh, Corton. Okay, I'm not accepting that because no, no, why not? No, I'm not accepting it. No. 1.2 million, 1.25 million. He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Okay, Jordan Rossiter, Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough. Yeah, actually, a quite decent offer. So, Jordan Rossiter, if you say no to this. You say no, as I feel I love you, but if you say yes, I don't care because you actually you actually do need some game times right now. So if you say if you, if you say yes, I'm not gonna play this game. I'm only gonna simulate it against Hamilton. We have to win this game easily. Yes, Fodder and Ham, Windows, and coming uh, Shellov. That's what I that's what I call it. That's what I call a gameplay. So for scratch my players just because it's a Premier League. Kilmarnock one, St Johnston one, Motherwell nil, Aberdeen one. Okay, we're playing against Aberdeen and Aberdeen's actually a quite strong team against Rangers. Transfer offer for Ross McCrory, Deportivo Pasto wants them for nine hundred and eighty thousand. He's not going to get any game time. Well, he has, but I don't really think he's going to get any game time with us right now. So, if you if you, if you want to go, you can go, because I don't really think they're going to get any game time with us here. So, Sean Goss for the upcoming match. I know you're a good player, Sean Goss, but it's just because I'm signing so many decent players right now. Do we win or lose? We drew Shaloff on Niall McGinn. My boy. Scottish Premier League. Aberdeen 1. Rangers 1. Ibernian 1. 1. Mother Rangers 0. Yeah. Ross County 0. Celtic 1. Martin, Martin Aldegaard? Oh my god, if I, if I could actually sign this dude right now, I'd be going fuck man if I could sign this dude. But he's gonna, but he's gonna, but he's gonna need like a big massive pay rise just to join us, like so. Sean Goss disappointed not to start. It was not my fault, Sean Goss. I know you're a good player, but there's nothing I could have done. I couldn't start you. We just, we just in a tavern and four now, so. Uh, Boudirov, Tavernier, Paul, and Windows. That's what we're talking about, lads. Final Sky Report on Kings of Huseby. He's 72 rated, and he's more higher rated than. Well, he's two, he's two rated lower than Thingy, but he's, he's, two, he's two rated lower than Tavernier, but. Tavernier is an absolutely brilliant player. If I put him on the bench, he might be good. This is going to be so bad if I can't if I can't get him because he actually need this dude for Tavernier because Tavernier is going to get on his own. Transfer home. What's this thing? 
four million on a thing is, is buy a thing is between five million. I'm gonna have to give them. So I'm gonna have to give them two million in one of my players. That's all. That's the best. I, the best thing I could possibly give them. I'm gonna give them Eduardo. Her I'm gonna give them Eduardo Herrera. Like 3.9, no, I'm not gonna say that much. Like, that's fucking, that's a fucking mark, that's a fucking nothing. 3.4 million in negotiation. I'm not giving you that much. No, you might be, he might be a good, decent player, but no, 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 I'm not giving, I'm not giving that much money. I know he's a good player, but no way, no. So this is actually this is actually a quite decent strong team for Ranger standards. Like we've got him a free agent. I cannot believe he's actually a free agent and he's actually quite decent right now. So we've got pretty much everyone on the bonus right now. But if I, I need, I want to have Kandias. Kandias was actually a decent player for us right now against us. Miller, Miller, you're a good player, but I'm not having you. Jason Hall, because you're Jason Hall, you're flipping unbelievable, so. Hey man, did he get red? Did that guy have, did that guy have red card? Yeah, he did. Okay, we're playing against Ross County. Oh, two nil win. Scottish Premier League. Aberdeen three. St Johnston one. Hibernian one. Out of Midlothian two. Ross County, nil. Rangers, two. Let's see what that means for the league tables. At the top of the table remain Celtic with 12 points. In second, Rangers with 10 points. Great. In third, Aberdeen with 10 points. In fourth, St. Johnston with So just guys, I'm just making a video right now. So, uh, hey Mark, I'm doing a video right now. Boy, nice t-shirt. Thanks. I like the t-shirt. Yes. Like yep. Yeah. I'm doing a video right now, man, if you want to watch it. Yeah, sure. I don't mind, yeah. Alright, because, uh... I've been doing... I think I've been doing it for the past hour now, I think. <laughs> uh, how, how long have I been doing it for? You don't even know. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, but uh, dude, it's live now, if you want to watch it, it's live. Please. So about that guy, I was only make so only calling my friend because he goes to my school and I said, uh, do you want do you wanna watch the video I'm watch I'm making so Scottish Premier League. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we've lost a game like Pauls and Grudo crap. Are you feelable? Yes, you are. You're injured, Ryan Jack's coming on. You're coming on the bench. I don't know who to take off. Cummings. Oh, I don't know. 
hold you are a good player, but I'm hold you are a good player, but I'm keeping you off. Well, welcome to the broadcast, which I think it's just gonna be Mark again. <laughs> But oh, I've only have four million, so I don't really know how. That, I don't know how I'm gonna make any signings right now. I don't think. I don't think we've. I don't think we've lost a game yet. Have we? No, we haven't lost a game yet. Same as Celtic and same as Aberdeen. So us Aberdeen and Celtic haven't lost a game yet. So that's actually that's actually quite big, like for us three. So fair play, fair play of the Celtic and Aberdeen to make it this far with us. Oh shit! No, no, okay. Now our, now our next game is against Celtic. How did I say that? But I'm going to be go I'm going to be going to the transfer tra uh, transfer window and see what I can do with the money we have got right now. Because I don't know if we I don't know if we can make any signings yet. But I'll give it a shot. Uh, we only have four million. That's not a lot of money for signing. I don't know. I don't know how to take off, and I take off by. I'm, I'm looking at. I'm looking at some players that I could probably sign on a, on a pre-contract or something. A lot is that dude. I am looking to sign off. Fuck, he's on the buy. Already got over six million. Uh, eat my shorts. I'm not buying that. Chris Willock. You might be a bronze Chris Willock or something like that, so I don't know about you yet. I'll just wait I'll just wait until you start to develop. Dennis Johnson. I've heard of this dude and this dude's quite decent right now, so I'm gonna wait. Oh no 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 no. That's guy that guy is probably a bronze or something right now. Yeah sure be a uh could I see I'm gonna sign him, I sure no I'm not. He's a striker and he's 18 years old and and he's an exciting prospect. Oh god, I don't know if I can sign him or not. I don't know. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I only have two million. Like, it's four star skills, four star weak foot. You can play left mid or striker. I'm just gonna go for him right now. I'm just gonna go for him. See what I can do. Okay, I'm going to get. I'm going to player swap striker. I'm not gonna give Morales. I'm going to give them Joe Duty. I'm gonna give him Joe Duty. If you can accept that, we can only swing. But but we're going. But we're looking to bring in a, a left winger. Glenn Middleton is the only player that I have right now for you. If, if you want him, if you want him, you can have him. Unfortunately, Middleton is not a player we're interested in, so we can let unless you player would be a be fit in our squad. Fuck it, I'll say 2.9 million. Can can we agree on that? Can we can we agree on 2.9 million? Yes! Yes. Yes. Our, another sign before uh, on transfer on transfer D. So he's only 19. So I want to say prospect. He wants squad rotation player, but he's a year he's a year older than me for Christ's sake, and it's gonna be playing for it's gonna be playing for Rangers. Disregard is how much is this thing? I'm going to say. Eleven thousand plus twelve thousand. Ship please accept, please accept. Yes. But welcome to the broadcast, guys, and thanks for the three comments. Thanks, Mark. Put him. We're going to get him. When to ask your good player. Putting you on the. Putting you on the bench for Paul. Uh, there he is, Lau, he, do he doesn't even have a name on him. <laughs> oh god, no, he's flipping the uh, thingy, he's flipping on the thingy. Bruno Alves, yes, Bruno Alves on. No, Fabio Cardozo. 
Jimmy Murphy's on thingies as well, so prop. You can uh, when that's can't play left mid as well, can't they? Yes he can because he that, that was his that was his main that was his main position. And Greg Doctor, I'm gonna get you in as well. Welcome to the broadcast. welcome to the team Leo. Leo -a. This is actually a strong. This is actually a strong, decent team for Rangers. Like, so I'm, ac I'm, I'm, I'm actually really happy with it. But against Celtic, I'm not. I'm actually not. I'm actually not gonna play this game. I'm actually gonna simulate it. So what this actually team? What this team might actually do? Yeah, it's against Celtic. I'm actually not gonna play this game. I'm actually gonna simulate it. This without team we've got, we might, we might, we might be able to get them, give them a, like a like a really big game. So we have so a bit we better win this game. We drew. That's not bad, I guess. That's actually not bad, actually. So I'm actually I'm actually happy with that. So. Scottish Premier League. Celtic one. Rangers one. One. Ross County one. Saint Johnston one. Let's have a look at what those results you can use this to doing it. At the top of the table, we have new leaders in Celtic with 14 points. In second, Rangers with 14 points. Do I care? No. Do I care about Celtic? No, I do not. Kilman with 10 points. Third bottom, Ross County with 3 points. I cannot believe I cannot believe this is actually the team I've actually got for Rangers right now. <laughs> but. What can you do? What can you do? Usman, uh, what the hell was his name? Usman Men, Men, Mena. It's a striker. This guy looks okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, if I had, if I had the money, I could sign this dude. I know. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what his position is. He can play. If, if he can play left mid, next season I'll probably sign him. Probably if he can play left mid. You can ignore you can only play left back, but, but fuck it, I'll put him at left mid if if Windows gets injured or something like that, I'll put him at left mid. I'm going to simulate until October and see what these games are like, and then if we win all of them, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm just going to freak out, because that team is actually quite stronger than any other team in the Scottish Premiership right now. But, don't know. Just wait. I'll, just, I'll just have to wait and see what I can do with it. I think we're gonna have to win these games. Like I think we're gonna. So a, a five thumping nil against uh, Motherwell, a four one win against Kilmarnock, and a two one win against Hearts. I called it. I called it. Manager award received. Yes, that's what I need right now. If I've been manager career, mate. If I've been thinking. Where can you play? You can only play center. Can you play left mid? Oh god, I'm actually so doomed. Can you play left mid? No. Can you play left mid? No. You can play left mid. Michael O'Halloran. Yes. Thank god. So, 
Bruno Alves for getting off because Fabian Fabio Cardoso is younger than you, better stats than you, so I don't well I don't really care about the stats, it's just because I just care about the age. I just care about the age marks, that's all, because because Fabio Cardoso is more younger than Bruno Alves and all that, so I don't know, but Bruno Alves he is a good player and he and he's one of the best players ever in the world right now, uh for Portugal. But I don't know, because he's very old, like he's like thirty eight like 35 so I don't know but if we win these games I'm going to have to end this video uh, because I've been on I think I've been on it for about like an hour now I think if I've been on it for an hour and you guys are actually sick off actually sick to piss off with me having to do this video for about an hour now I'm sorry it's just because I just love doing these videos and love doing a, we love doing videos and a lot so pardon me but Sorry guys, I haven't been making videos for you guys in a long last time. It's just because I keep on smashing my controllers and all that. A 4-0 win. A 1-0 win against Dundee, not good. And a 1-0 win against Aberdeen. So two wins and a loss. So that's, we, we, we've only had one loss. We've only had one loss. And pretty much the rest of the game has been a win and a draw. One loss. So, so I'm, actually, I'm, actually, I'm actually thumping for this. Getting, the, getting this dude back in the team. But Ryan Jack has been developing really well, so I don't know who to take off. Greg Dockery. Okay, we. Uh, I thought I was going to win these games, but I'm going to actually have to end this video, and then I'll do a video probably later on, or probably tomorrow. But I'll have to do it probably tomorrow, and then we. I can't do it tomorrow, guys, because tomorrow's Wednesday, and I'm doing stuff on Wednesday, but I'll have to do it. No. No shit, tomorrow's Friday. What the fuck am I on about tomorrow's Friday? Shit, sorry guys. It's just because my head's actually been blown away by by the day. So the weekend, how fast thing, how fast days is going. My head, and my head is like, what day is it today? I don't know until I came back to it. Tomorrow's Friday. Sorry about that. <laughs> but I will probably have to end this video in a minute or so. Oh, that's a lot of games. I'm going to simulate to the 1st of January, and then if we win all them games, I'm going to end this video, end up the, the end up the 1st of January, and progress on from there. But, uh, but I'm going to simulate all of them, but I'm going downstairs to get a drink.
Okay, if we win all these games, I'm not, well, if we lose some games or draw, win games, I don't care, because I'm just going to end this video anyway. So I'll draw, I win, I win, I will, I win, I win, and I win. So every game won except for one loss. So where where is it? Where does that put us now in the league? We are out of sight. We are out of sight of the league. Fucking get back. Look at how much points we are, guys. 51 points ahead. We're, we're 50 points. 51 points. And Celtic are 35. We are out of sight of Celtic. Celtic are nowhere near us. So this team is winning everything. And I don't give a crap what other people say. Because this team is winning. Damn. <laughs> Controller dead. This is this is the wrong charger, guys. Well, that it's the same charger, but it's not working right. Oh, my days. We need a fucking charger. about that <sighs> all right we have to get him off I want to get him on for Jimmy for Jimmy Murphy all right guys but this is this has been the video right now if you're new around here leave a like subscribe and Peace. I don't know why I dabbed. 